All right, the royal wedding is less than two weeks away. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will tie the knot next Saturday. I believe it's already almost here. It's been a whirlwind few months. They've had to plan the wedding, the guest list, and of course, Megan's dress. And we have all been watching. Maybe some of us are a little jealous, but you don't have to be a princess to throw your own royal worthy wedding. Christy Myers and Leslie Britt are here with some things that you can do to make your wedding fit for a queen. Good morning, ladies. Good, morning. Good to see you. Hi, all you. right, so I think we all dream as little girls of having the kind of wedding that Megan is about to have, but Absolutely. they're spending a lot of money on this. Oh. A lot wedding. of money. Yes, ma'am. Yes, <laughs> All ma right. So tell us um, some of the things that we can expect. Um, a royal wedding is um, a big adventure. Um, a lot of little girls here in the United States dream about that from the time they're little bitty girls. Yes, they do. Um, the long train, the carriage ride through the town, <laughs> the waving princess. Um, I love this. It looks like Cinderella's that, carriage. <laughs> that is what all little girls here dream of. Um, a guest list of 800. Um, wow. Those types of things are um, just a dream for little girls here in the United States. Um, a place setting for a royal wedding would look something similar to this. Mm -hmm. Of course, it would be the china from the castle of course um, the family china would be used tea of course the bridal teas and all of those fancy Can't things that, that would and of course leslie um one of our florists has brought beautiful flowers that you would see i love a, these we've been eyeing amazing. these all morning and we'll get to that in just a minute but i want to we were talking in the break about um what you're expected to do as a guest at the royal wedding yes and you brought these lovely fascinators yes, tell us about these <laughs> um, in order to be a guest at a royal wedding you are um supposed to go through a total seven page list of etiquette wow seven pages seven pages are handed out with the invitation of what you are required to do. A lady must present um, at the wedding. She must show up in a day dress with a headdress, um, some sort of hat of or a fascinator. Um, this is required. It is considered disrespectful to the throne if you do not have oh, okay. a hat on as a lady. Gentlemen must wear jackets and pants. Uh, to the wedding, so that is some of the things that would happen at a that wedding. That is a lot mm -hmm. of expectation. All right, so we're all wondering what's she going to wear? What kind of bouquet is she going to carry? <laughs> Tell us about that. Well, this small and compact um, type of bouquet is sort of what we've seen from Pippa and Kate, mm -hmm. um, but Megan is a wild card, so we may see something that's a little bit more in style um, in the States that's less structured, um, has more texture, more greenery, and just larger in size. Um, Princess Diana's bouquet was very large, as we all remember, with lots of greenery, yes. so there may be a nod to that um, and just have like a more modern shape to it. I love this. Tell us about some of the flowers in here. So this is um, Silver Dollar Eucalyptus, which is very popular um, right Right now, I have more brides ask for this than any other type foliage, and brides today are very specific in what they're looking for, mainly um, because of Pinterest, which we love, because it really helps me be able to... I use Pinterest in my wedding. <laughs> exactly. Um, it helps me be able to really nail down what they're exactly looking for. So there's garden roses, lisianthus, wax flower, um, Italian ruscus. There's just lots of different textures. The brides today are going for more dimension mm -hmm. um, than just something that's very smooth and, um, and circular. Hmm. And do we... we expect her to spend a lot on the bouquet as well? We do. Um, Kate and William had 30,000 stems in their bouquet. Uh, or okay. their wedding brother, and I think that they'll have just as many. Megan has commented several times that she loves peonies. Um, I think there'll be some local flowers as well. Mm -hmm. they, they mentioned that's important to them, so I think there'll be foxglove and white roses, as that's Diana's favorite. And this time of year, I think these flowers are so beautiful as too. well. Um, all right, so are a lot of brides coming to you right now and asking you about the royal wedding and saying, I want something like that? Are they... A lot of brides love the whole royal wedding thing. We have, we actually had a bride. These were her centerpieces, the carriages. Okay. Uh, she asked for us to make it princess-like. Um, very. We have a lot of the fairy tale thing going on. Um, we have a lot of lovely flowers adorning every table in rows of garland. That people just love that look. Very formal, very um, royal and regal. I think that whatever we see will probably set a trend. It seemed like a lot of brides wore the long lacy gowns yes. with the long sleeves after mm -hmm. Kate. Yes. So yes. it'll be interesting to see. All right, if. Um, um, ladies need your help with planning a wedding, where can they find you? Um, I am the owner of Margaret Claire's Weddings and Events here in Knoxville. Um, we are on um, www.margaretclairweddings.com. That is our website. Um, and we would love to have all your brides. We can make it very royal. All right. <laughs> and Leslie Britt with LB Floral, and we're lbfloral.com. And you can check out lots of pictures on Instagram. All right. And we know you'll be up early watching the royal wedding. Very weddings. early. <laughs> Bye, all right.